The world and all its treasures shall belong to me, Spydra, once I eliminate Gadget Boy! <laughs> Gadget Boy! He's so much smarter than the rest. Gadget Boy! Cause his gadgets work the best. Agent Heather, it's a loud purse, too. Gadget Boy, put that down. You're right, Agent Heather. The person who lost it might come back. <laughs> the Fabergé sack is very valuable. That's why we've got to keep an eye on it. In that case, maybe I should try out my new gadget. I don't know if that's such a good... Go, go, Gadget Boy statue dumpster. <laughs> Oh, no! It's gone! Huh? It's gone! Somebody has stolen the rare Fabergé sack! A spider web. Know what that means? They need a better cleaning staff? No. Spider has stolen the Fabergé sack. Sousers, Bowsers! The second Fabergé sack, Boris. I've stolen two of the three Fabergé sacks in existence. Soon I will have the third. Eight, nine, and ten. Phew. It will look breathtaking on me, don't you think, Boris? Ah! Yeah, whatever. Uh-oh. The location of the second Fabergé sack stolen by Spider. Keith! Keith! <laughs> this is no time for hide and seek. Here he is. Huh? <laughs> you okay, Chief? Oh. oh yeah. Gadget Boy is always on duty. Uh. I know it. As you know, there are three Fabergé sacks in existence. Spydra has now stolen two of them. The third is in the possession of the cruise ship magician David Slobberfield and his assistant Bizarro, currently working aboard the cruise ship Titania. Uh, don't touch those pins, Gadget the Boy. I'm using them to track Spydra. Just making sure they're not loose. There. Nice and tight. Oh. A fax from Interpol Command. Go undercover on the Titania cruise ship and stop Spider from stealing the third Fabergé sack. Got it, Chief. Gadget Boy is always on duty. Wait, Gadget Boy. Dabble has created some new gadgets for your mission. Chief, are you hiding again? <laughs> This may seem like a normal pack of playing cards. Who wants to play Go Fish? How about you, Chief? But each card expands into a full-sized, four-wheeled chaise lounge like they use on cruise ships. Those stairs have got to hurt. That's my Chief. He loves to live dangerously. The hyper-strength contractable deep-sea fishing pole is ready for a test. Go, go, Gadget Boy fishing pole! No, Gadget Boy! The hyper-strength contractable deep-sea fishing pole could never be used in doors! Ah! Uh, no! <laughs> 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 
one. The chief can't sit still for a minute. Time to test the turbo magnifier. The turbo magnifier can create a laser beam of incredible intensity when the sun is focused through it. Fantastic, Gabble. You really outdid yourself this time. The chief is really hot for this one. Bye, see ya! No need to thank me, Chief. Stopping Spider is my sworn duty. Roger the boy! Quit lounging like a lazy pigeon and turn on the new vid screen. <laughs> Ah, it's still got a few bugs in it. Better use the old one. I'll bug you, you lethargic louse. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. It's working just fine. Now, the effect that made me famous, the disappearing Fabergé sack. I'll make that Fabergé sack disappear for good, and I'll look fabulous wearing it. Right, Boris? Uh, you look good in anything that covers your face. What? Uh, I said you'll be the height of elegance and grace. I hope you remembered my SPF 142 sunscreen. You can't be too safe in sunny climates. Mm, it's cold! <laughs> Nonsense, Agent Heather. I'm nice and toasty. to check for anything that might lead to Spydra. You two go right ahead. I've got a few leads of my own to follow. Looking for your parents, Sonny? Aha! What a clever disguise for a Spydra minion. Take off that ridiculous mask. Zowzers, <coughs> bowzers. Oh, let's go. You too, evil Spydra doer. Take off that silly disguise. Oh. You're off the hook for now, but I'm watching you. Oh, oh. oh my. Oh. I can do surveillance from my top secret lounge chair. Hmm. A little to the left. No, right. Huh? Oh. Don't you know anything, Boris? I know one thing. You're a pain in the beak. What did you say? I said that working with you is a treat. <laughs> Whoa! The old fake sleep surveillance lounge here gets them every time. Stop loafing, Boris. Look! The meddling menace followed me. Hmm, this could work out better than I imagined. A slice of bologna. Boris must be here. And this must be Spider's cabin. Uh, uh, uh. Mulch, humus, get over here. If I could get a better view. Good thinking, G9. It's Spider's cabin, all right. We've got to warn Gadget Boy. You're not warning anyone. <laughs> Cheap souvenir. Now you'll see what happens to snooping, sniveling, secret agents. <laughs>
cyber agents here. <sighs> Bionic gear insta rust. This will turn his gears rock solid. Hey kid, you wanna? I mean, uh, care for some complimentary lemonade, sir? Thank you, my fine cruise ship waiter. Oh waiter, you dropped something. G9, we're just starting. You want to play musical chairs? Remember, G9, this isn't a vacation. We're on duty. Zowsers, Bowsers. Now all we gotta do is wait for him to drink his instant rust cocktail. Then, clang, he's done for. Let's have a sip of this while I watch for Spider's agents. Go, go, Gadget Boy Super Straw. Hmm, this cruise ship makes a mean lemonade. The Insta Rust didn't even phase him. Are you sure you poured enough of it into his drink? G9 and Agent Heather are. We've got a case to solve. Time to give the bionic brat his first swimming lesson in freezing waters. <laughs> hmm. We did it! And it was so easy. Another cruise activity? I must compliment the recreation director. Recreational activities every minute. I love parasailing. But I've got to get back. Duty calls. Why don't you wait us try it? Those waiters are great parasailers. I can't even see them. I've got to get to higher ground. Spider's not full. Bowsers, Bowsers, ice statues. The ship must be having a contest. Guess the snow cone contest is next. We've got to find Agent Heather. Then we can all participate. G9! Gadget Boy! G9, this isn't the snow cone contest. The restroom door's locked. Don't worry. We just need a hairpin. You see, G9, knowledge is power. But that's a serious plumbing problem. I'm beginning to wonder about the upkeep of this ship. We've got to get to the magic show. Spider's about to steal the Fabergé sack. I love magic shows, especially when things disappear. Soon. The third Fabergé sack will be mine. <laughs> Do you understand the plan, my mentally challenged minions? 
Yes, your loveliness. We asked for a volunteer for the disappearing Fabergé sack trick. And when Gadget Boy volunteers, we finish him. Precisely. And the sword trick that releases Gadget Boy also releases the sack to me. Why don't you just grab the sack? Because only the final sword will release the sack from its case and eliminate Gadget Boy. And furthermore, when I want your opinion, I'll squeeze it out of you, bird brain. She's so strict. How come I have to be bizarro? Because you're the pretty minion. Well, and now, the exciting magical stylings of David Slobberfield and his lovely assistant, Bizarro! I'll wait for the Fabergé sack in the Spydra boat at the port side of the ship. Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yeehaw! Coochie coochie. Great idea, Heather. I wouldn't want to miss the magic act. Spider's sure to go for the Fabergé sack right after the sword trick. For our first trick, we'll need a volunteer from the audience. How about, How about you? Me? Bowsers, Bowsers! Go, go, Gadget Boy volunteer! I don't know about this, Gadget Boy. We've got to be ready to save the Fabergé sack. It's okay, Agent Heather. Gadget Boy is always on duty. Right this way, cute little volunteer. Thank you, lovely assistant. With the five o'clock shadow. Look, Agent Heather, I'm part of the show. There's something odd about these two. They don't look anything like their poster. What am I supposed to do? You're doing just fine. <laughs> This seems like a pretty advanced trick for a volunteer. Zowzers, Bowsers! This Slobberfield fellow really is a master magician. Ten razor sharp swords of tempered steel. Now for the final touch. The piece de resistance. Two tons of fun. <laughs> Placement of the ropes. That Slobberfield fellow cut them right off me. That weight will turn Gadget Boy into Recycled Metal Boy. <laughs> Gadget Boy! Hey, what's this thing? The exit. The show must be over. Maniacal mistress. Set the cruise ship Titania on a collision course with a gigantic iceberg that's sure to sink it. <laughs> Zowzers, Bowsers. That iceberg will be perfect for the ice statue contest. Go, go, Gadget Boy Turbo Magnifier. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for the magic show. It was great working with real pros. Forget about him. We gotta get the sack to the spider boat. <laughs> They're getting away! <laughs> now all three Fabergé sacks are mine! <laughs> now, the chip. There. Finished. <laughs> what is it now, you fetid feathered flunky? Heads are always the tricky part. The Fabergé sacks! Go, go, G9 Ocean Kayak! <laughs> Gadget 
you, boy. Let this be a lesson to you, Mr. Slobberfield and lovely assistant. I'm booking you for unlawful swimming near a cruise ship. Congratulations, Gadget Boy. I don't know how you did it. Well, no use in hanging around. Captain, full steam ahead. Gadget Boy! No! My favorite. G9, dinner. I have a new improved bionic dog food for you. I call it kibble and bolts. <laughs> Let's check those levels. Hmm, too much kibble, not enough bolts. Isn't it awfully early for a monthly tune-up, Myron? Yes, but it's Chief Stromboli's orders. Emergency assignment in Ireland. Ouch! How wonderful! Ireland is the home of my ancestors. Really, Agent Heather? My ancestor was a drill press from Duluth. <laughs> Hear that, my fine feathered flunky? They're sending that bionic brat to Ireland. There won't be any gold left now that you've captured the leprechaun king. <laughs> yes, he'll lead me to that pot of gold, the one that's the source of all the other gold in the world. So snap to it, check the leprechaun king, then get down to the coat room. Just one more potato, pretty please. Because you asked so sweetly. Thank you. What's going on, Chief Stromboli? Emergency assignment from Chief Darby Odile in Ireland. Tell us the problem, Odile. Spiders in Ireland. She's kidnapped the king of the leprechauns and is forcing him to reveal the rainbow's end where all the leprechauns fill their pots of gold. It's the source of all the gold on the planet. What's more, if the Leprechaun King is away from his rainbow too long, it disappears forever, and so does the gold. Who knows what or who that evil woman will take. Oh no! That's incredible! Could it be true? Leprechauns? Hidden pots of gold? We can't afford to ignore his story. And you've got to rescue Odil. Show us what you've got, Dabble. These Irish jig levitation shoes can lift you off the ground. Bowsers, Bowsers, I've got to try these right away. No, please, Gadget Boy. This ceiling repair is still drying from your rocket socks demonstration. Good luck, Shamrock wrist radios. My picture lights up in the dark on yours, Agent Heather. <laughs> hmm. Time is running out, Dabble. We're about to lose all of the gold and the Leprechaun King. No, well, uh, then be sure to take along this mini weather prism. It can create an instant microstorm. I'll just try it out. Pretty rainbow, but are you sure the prism works? Trust me, Gadget Boy. It works. We'd better get going if we want to save the gold. And the Leprechaun King. Never fear. Gadget Boy is always on duty. Well, at least this time Gadget Boy didn't destroy me on the way out. Oof! <laughs> Don't forget these Irish jig levitation shoes, Gadget Boy. Oof! Whoa! Ouch! Silly me. I spoke too soon. Come in, O oh Mulch and McHumus. Gadget Boy is on his way to Ireland. Stop him. Dismantle him. How will we recognize Ireland, Agent Heather? That's easy, Gadget Boy. It's called the Emerald Isle because it's so green. Hmm. Bowsers, Bowsers. They sure have big birds in little tiny Ireland. 
Big Bird? Target gadget, boy, below. Bombs away. We're ahead of you. Three egg bombs are to scramble their planes. <laughs> uh -huh. A big bird. And she's dropping Irish bird eggs. Go, go, gadget boy, baseball mitt. Don't worry, mother Irish bird. I'll save your babies. Oh, no. That was a close call. I think Spider knows we're coming. Nonsense, Agent Herbert. Big Mother Irish Bird wouldn't tell on us. She's got problems of her own. At last, Shannon Airport. But where do we start? I guess we turn right at the next rainbow and stop at the nearest leprechaun. And watch for Spider's minions. I'll check the terminal. Right this way, courteous Irish luggage persons. Only one carrier. Take it away, my good man. One gadget boy road corn beef coming up. <laughs> huh? Handle with care. He's my puppy. Oh no! Who turned out the lights? Whoa. Your loveliness. We're getting. Where's G9? Traditional Irish hospitality, Agent Heather. He should be heading through the baggage system even as we speak. There you are, G9. I trust they didn't delay you in customs. They sort of failed. And? I guess that's sort of <laughs> the end of me. Too easy. We'll have to do it ourselves. <laughs> what now, O benevolent mistress of delicious evil? We've got Odile. Now to pack that pesky pipsqueak in a potato patch. Hey, that's good. Can you say the vicious, vindictive villainous violated the voice box of the vexed vulture? Gadget boy, help! Ireland, well, we're here. Now, the question is, without Inspector Odell, who do we contact? This is Faith in Begora, at your service. Spider has captured me, Papa, a leprechaun king, and the nicest Mr. Odell. Judging by your size, you must be a distant relative. Bionic Boy Detective Gadget Boy, at your service. Agents Heather and G9, we're here to help. Spider so must find the leprechaun pot of gold. It's the source of every ounce of gold in the world. And if me papa, the leprechaun king, is away from his rainbow too long, he'll disappear oh, forever. Come along to the leprechaun glade. What a beautiful, innocent glade. Spider's evil can never penetrate this. Guess again, you tedious twerp. <laughs> Shillelagh's away, Boris. Now! Shillelagh's away! <gasps> Welcome to my Ireland gadget boy. And the end of you! Swarm of pesky Irish mosquitoes. Gadget Boy will protect you. Go, go, Gadget Boy, inflatable coat. Spider will never not to pick on a wee defenseless bionic cousin. We folks to the rescue.
Huh? Hey, how'd they disappear? In the twinkling of an eye. Sure, and they've got to fetch empty gold pots to fill with this mushroom soup we're standing in. Go, go, Gadget Boy Spoon. And a fine soup it is. If Spider reaches the pot at the rainbow's end, there'll be no more gold for those pots ever again. Come in, Agent Heza. Three more pots of gold stolen, and time is running out for the Leprechaun King and Inspector Odile. Just going from bad to worse? It's me, Papa? Or the pot of gold? She loathes me? She loathes me not. Report, you blundering buffoons. Is the bionic brat gone? Uh, no, you loveliness. I have the Leprechaun King. You'll lead me to the gold or fade away. Just get rid of Gadget Boy! She loathes me? She loathes me not. Oh, must I do everything myself? She loathes me? There it is! The Leprechaun King's castle! Perhaps we can learn of me Papa's whereabouts! The legendary end of the rainbow. Nay! That's the beginning of it! And the end of the rainbow is the well-kept secret of the wee folks! And one that Spyro can never find without the Leprechaun King's help? What a darling playhouse! A uh, castle! Zowzers, Bowsers! This place is just my size! I've got to hone in on where the Leprechaun King and Inspector Odile are being held. To spy on them is a simple trick. Crystal of Druids, Faith and Big Lab, show us the place where they've hidden me, Dad. Fantastic! A primitive yet effective Tesla-like ionic crystal transceiver. All you have to do is utter the ancient Druid incantation. That's a wee bit of fine tuning with your remote. Papa! Only Papa! You'll waste away to nothing if you don't touch your rainbow soon! Don't cry, me darling. I'll never show that wicked spider where the rainbow ends. Your little friend should encourage her Papa to talk, Gadget Boy. Or he'll disappear forever! And I'll get you and your little dog too! All right, Spydra. Just what do you need to know? The location of the rainbow's end, the source of the leprechaun's gold, and all the gold on Earth! Yeah, and be quick about it, or the king's gonna do his famous disappearing act! My patience grows thin! Oh! Lead me to the rainbow! Time is running out! I finally got a lead on their location. Faith, you and... I'm way ahead of you, Asian Heather! Go, go! Faith and I will secure the leprechaun treasure. Ah, that will do. Spider must not capture it. Are you ready to talk? Never. Save the bravery act, guys. This lady means business. How tough can she be? Tough enough to let you gaze upon my beautiful face. And that's before she takes the bag off. Uh, I think it's vulture lunch break time. Stay! See who's on the two-way. The treatment I get, no wonder I'm spineless. What did you say? Uh, I said, they're coming in, your highness. Uh, come in, old Mulch and McHumus. McHumus here. Gadget Boy is approaching the bridge to the Castle River now. We'll flatten him before he gets there. Well, don't just stand there drooling. <gasps> Do it! You heard the lady. <laughs> Closing in, target in sight. Don't worry, G9, we're perfectly safe. Look, the nice tower man is waving us across. I want to shake the nice man's hand. Go, go, gadget on. Goody, and there's 
Boston Hill. We got them. We got them. We got them. There it is! The rainbow's end! Sure, and we found it! There be the legendary magical pot of gold that creates all the gold in the world! Excellent! Now we'll need a homing beeper to lead Spydra on! Oh no! He cannot be a traitor to the Leprechaun's secret! Ow! You gentlemen should know better than to swim in those outfits! It looks like you fellas could use a little more luck. Hang on to my Blarney Stone. It makes you feel like talking. Perhaps you could direct us to the Leprechaun King. Uh, he's down the road in the castle. What did you do that for? Help us get our truck out and we'll lead you there. Oops. I hope Gadget Boy and G9 find your papa. We're about to pull the Leprechaun trick of the century. Just stand over there and aim the prism where I tell you. And what have you been doing? I just need to borrow an empty pot from your friends. Sure, and there's plenty of those to spare since that wicked spider got here. Ah, yes. G9's new formula. Stand by and have faith. Perfect. Gadget Boy is out of the way, and the two fools led us to the pot of gold. Now all the gold in the world will be mine! Prepare to be loaded! <sighs> yes, your evilness. Happiness is so short-lived. <laughs> We gotta get out of here. Right. We never thanked them for showing us the way. Gadget Boy is always polite. Come on, G9. That should do it. Hold the prism up to the sun. As you please. Though what we're doing is truly a puzzlement. A double rainbow. Which do we follow? The biggest one, of course. I'm greedy. Prepare to dive! Oof. And the hostages? Mulch and humus will dispense with that minor problem. Lower the drawbridge. Quick, before the kid gets here. Roger. Oh, no! The old castle wall is falling down. Go, go, gadget boy on! Don't worry, Queen's Irish kids. I'll save you! Oh, no! Looks like dog kibble and... 
Vault? <laughs> What'll I do with it? Start eating. It's a long ride home. Gadget Boy and G9 to the rescue, Agent Heather. Papa! <gasps> Inspector Odell! And all of Spider's stolen gold ready for reporting. Sure, and it's a great day tonight for the Irish. Hmm. And the wearing of the green. Hooray for Heather! For the Leprechaun King. It's not a great day tonight for Spider, but I'll get you next time, Gadget Boy, or someone will pay. Ouch, ouch! Ah. But why will it be me? I'm picking up a lot of seismic activity located somewhere in the Pacific Ocean in the Polynesian chain of islands. It looks like the fabled Easter Island. Bowsers, Bowsers, that must be some earthquake. It's not an earthquake. It's caused by something out there. Strange radio waves are bouncing off satellites illegally, and they're coming from Spidravania. Spidra's lair. We should have known. Yes, you should have. But it's too late to stop me now. <laughs> Boris! They're alive! Cosmicismo! <laughs> the world will pay! I have just enough crystals to make all the world's statues do my bidding! by a tourist named Shirley on Easter Island. What are we waiting for? Let's go, go, go! Not hey. so fast, Gadget Boy. You'll need the special gadgets to crack this case. And I've got them for you. Just take a peek at these crime fighter time savers. No small detective should be without them. And a money-back guarantee. Oh, careful, Gadget Boy. What's Whoa. this do? The brush's pigment momentarily stuns and freezes the subject. It works. The chief is speechless. Zowsers, Bowsers, secret orders. Spydra bringing statues to life. She wants their weight in gold or they will crush the world. This message will self-destruct. Don't worry, Chief. Gadget Boy is always on duty. Don't forget your other gadgets. These are instant cement pills and, uh, I forgot what this is. Tell the chief we're on the case. If, uh, when he comes out of his, uh, nap. <gasps> oh. Well, they're off. <laughs> hmm, that stun brush really does the job. Oh, no. Oh. <gasps> Double your ninkum pooper. Huh? Oh, oh, no. Ow. No! Wow, where does the time go? Got to run! <sighs> and I turned her down to dental school to become a policeman. Rise, my mega minions, and do your dance of mayhem. Every statue in the world will do my bidding. Yeah, and 
and I do all the work. For it? But you got to admit, the woman's got style. Okay, it's shot time. Turn it on. What? I said, uh, it's on already. Oh, go, baby, go. Do my bidding. Remember, Gadget Boy, our cover is art students. That's easy. I am an art student. SG9. He's my best model. Hmm. What an interesting work of art. Why not me? Ah, careful, Gadget Boy. The bronze Buddha is still on the... <gasps> this on canvas. Quick! A cement pill before the stun brush wears off! Hmm. Spidrus truck again. This time it's the Colossus of Rhodes, and the Easter Island the Tikis are still on the loose. We're, We're on, on our way! way. Full speed ahead, G9! I don't know art, but I know what I like. Look at that great mechanical statue. It's the famed Colossus of Rhodes, Gadget Boy, and he's on a rampage! Use the stun brush, quick! Don't worry, Agent Heather. Gadget Boy is always on duty. Nice monster. <laughs> Sorry 
to see him go. As a dancer, he was so-so. But as a piece of art, top stuff. Come on, Gadget Boy. We've got some tidying up to do in Egypt and Easter Island. <gasps> go, go, G9! Curses! After them, you recalcitrant road pill! <laughs> Agent Heller. Gadget Boy, careful. Come on, G9. Get up, Sphinx. Hi ho, Sphinx away. All he wanted was a little fun after sitting in a sandbox for 5,000 years. Morph time, G9. Operation 1612-A. As soon as I grab a quick lemonade at that oasis. What lemonade? What oasis? That one. Needs more lemon. Needs more aid. I'm allergic to sand. Back to the pyramids, guys. Sleep well for another 5,000 years. We're off to Easter Island. <laughs> go, go, Gadget Boy, blindfold. <laughs> you can find me, Marco. on the New York subway system. <laughs> Don't be alarmed, citizens. It's only me, Gadget Boy. Protecting the Big Apple. No need for applause. Ooh. Come on. My comfy book shows dangerous vibes around Liberty Island. Steady, Gadget Boy. Spider's signal is growing stronger. There she is, 12 o'clock high. There's the Statue of Liberty. Now, for one last Spydra statue sack. Go to work! Right on target. <laughs> well, don't just lie there. Turn on the gamma ray. Roger. Tell us a 
Bowser. Looks like Spider beat us to it. No doubt. Oh, no! Hurry, G9! Attention, Boris! More power, you funky feathered flunky! <laughs> Silence! Did you hear me, Boris? More power! The box is giving out, I tell you. These statues don't run on air, you know. Why am I surrounded by no-account ninnies? Hey! My feet will get wet! Do you mind? Silence! You will do my bidding! Hey! What are you from down here? Are you always fond of what was behind that building? You will do my bidding, ah! you French witch! Down with you! Carnegie Deli, I'm starved! Whoa! Look, 
You got it, Lady L. Well, you did it. You destroyed the evil Gamma Crystals. And I get you the boy. Uh, how did you finally convince her that is to uh... Knowledge is power, Chief. Remember how Dabble forgot what the last super gadget was for? Silly Dabble. It says right here, instant statue soother snacks. Her favorite was apple pie. They come in all kinds of snacks. Now, you like hot dogs, Chief. All we do is add a drop of water and... No need to demonstrate. I've been a wiener. Hold the sour crowd. And mustard. I'll get you! I'll get you yet, Gadget Boy! This is Boris. I'm in trouble. This is Mulch. And, and Humus. We're on ice! How, How do we, we get, get home? home?